All right, so we're ready to start creating some events in the game here. We're going to go ahead and select B. We're in the live mode and we're looking at the camera that we want to use to select and capture our event. Uh, I'm going to hit in when they go into the uh, position to snap the ball and continue to hit in just a few times till I get it set right. And here's our first event. Now the ball got thrown out of view. I'm looking at the multi viewer now. I can see that the play is still going on. And here it comes back into view on our main output and down. But the multi viewer allowed me to see everything. So I can hit mark out. Replay ready. Yeah, can we see a replay of that event? And as he starts to replay it, I can look at my clip list previews down here and choose the camera angle that actually has the action happening in it. Go back to three, go back to one, and then back to the live game. Now they could be switching to the live game live on the external switcher or you could go to A, go to live, and now do an auto and you'll transition the live game back in. So let's go ahead and start the recording and we want to do that before the game starts and then of course we're watching the game as it progresses. Let's mark an endpoint and you can hit the endpoint over and over until you actually get the endpoint you want. Uh, this is going to be a handoff and a run. It's going to be a nice long run. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the end of the play here to mark our out point and we're going to get a nice tackle and we'll let it run just a little bit and we'll hit our mark out. We'll hit clip list and say replay ready. We're ready to run that replay. And as we're waiting for them to call the replay, we could go over to A and go to the clip list and make sure that we queue up a different angle of the same play and we're back on B. Yeah, play that replay for me. We go great. We run the replay by pulling the T-bar down and then pushing it forward. The replay's running, and while that's running, we can go back over to A, and we can queue it up and get it to the point where the action is actually about to happen. Now we're back here on B, we're letting the action play out, and after the tackle hits, we can hit auto, and we can give him another angle, and again, we can go back to A here, and we can give him even a third angle on that, and we can hit auto. And now we're ready to go back to the live game. Again on A, we go to live and hit auto and you're right back into the live game. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the file pull down menu, make sure that I have under options, uh, the clip list angle previews active. We wanna be able to see those. We also wanna make sure that we have our uh, out point padding enabled and set to infinite, of course. Uh, we're gonna start the recording process and uh, the game starts playing for us. We're gonna make sure that we go to the B mode and we go live and we're ready to mark an endpoint. Again, I can continue to mark that endpoint until it actually happens right there. So here's our first play. Now he threw it. Couldn't really see where it went. I can watch it on the multi viewer. Let's mark out. And the director doesn't want that event. They didn't remark on it. So we're just gonna hit mark in for our next event here. There's our mark in. And again, it's another pass. I can watch the multi viewer and I can see that it was caught and that's good. So we're going to hit a mark out, clip list, replay ready. Going to play that back. We can just push the T-bar forward and we can dynamically control the speed of the playback. Now he throws it off camera. But again, what's nice here is you've got the clip list preview. So you can see that camera one is a camera that you might want to switch to. So the angle button and one switches you to that camera angle to where you actually can see the action happening. And then we can go back to camera two and get the quarterback triumphantly marching off the field. Now to get back live, we can go over to A, go live and do an auto and that takes us back to the live game. Now what about tagging? Let's go ahead and watch this unfold in front of us and we're gonna mark an in and they're gonna go ahead and kick off. They're coming down the field here. He's got the ball, He's running it back and down and he's player 26 so i can go to tag and i can say that was the east team he was player 26 and i know that a kick was a number four and i've got that on there so now we're back in the live game again and we're ready to capture our next uh, event we're going to go ahead and let the event start and count to three and hit mark out so there's a snap one two, three, and marked an out in point four seconds back for us. It was a nice pass, and apparently it was a touchdown. That's great, so let's go ahead now and say replay ready. 
And we've got our endpoint ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and initiate playback here. And he's going to move it on around. Now, and he throws it. You can see it's can't see it anymore. I'm going to just use my arrow keys there. And I can go back and forth between the different angles just by using my arrow keys very quickly. So it's another way of just getting around using your clip list previews and jumping right to that camera that you want to see. Ready to go back live? Go over to A, make it live, and hit auto, and you're back to the live game.